Hi everyone, thank you for coming to my channel. This is Wendy, and today I wanted to show you a trick with some napkins. And I am uh, calling it fruit roll-up napkins. I hope you all remember the fruit roll-ups and how they felt and kind of how you peel and uh, just keep that in mind as we go through this. <laughs> so I was playing around with napkins because I have some trouble sometimes when I wanna add napkins into my journal and um, how to apply it without tearing it, without putting Mod Podge all over it in my journal. Um, so I came um, up with this happy little accident. Don't ask me how it happened, but I was, I was experimenting. And um, I turned a napkin into what is essentially um, kind of like vellum paper. Um, I guess that's, I guess that's what you would call it is vellum paper, um, because it doesn't tear no, any more like a napkin. Okay. And this is a napkin from Tuesday morning here. Let me just, so you guys, my bag of napkins, um, let's see, do I have... Trying to see if I have, oh, hold on here. I might that might be my last one of well anyway, I'll pull this one out. <laughs> it was a napkin from Tuesday morning. Okay, nothing fancy. And I pulled off the white backing. Okay, so you have just the one front layer. And I was able to turn it into this okay it is it doesn't it's like a fruit roll-up it has that fruit roll-up feel you know it does feel a little plasticky but it's see-through you can glue it and you can stitch it with the sewing machine um, and what's neat is when you glue it it doesn't tear um, when I try to use a glue stick on the napkin or wet glue it's just it's a mess most of the time so this is okay so i was in the midst of making a pocket all right i wanted to see you know what it would look like it by far not done but this is just a prototype so i glued well i inked and i glued with and i used fabric tech uh the silicone glue just to see how that would work and uh it kind of gives it like a gloss you know a, a glassine bag type of feel because you can see inside the pocket I thought how cool is that you could make glassine bags out of this because just sticking it it doesn't stick okay doesn't stick to paper doesn't stick to my table it will oh, let me fold it Okay, so I press it together front to back. It doesn't stick to itself. So even though it has that plasticky feel, it doesn't stick to itself, really. That's it. But, um, oh, I lost my train of thought because I was just having so much fun with this. Okay, so I glued it, and this one I made a pocket with. Okay, so you can really see you know, the see-through. Okay, so in this one, I wanted to show you, um, I had this, I was gonna show you that you can actually use a glue stick. This is just my Elmer glue stick, and I will just go up the sides. And it's so much easier, it's not tearing, and you know, it goes right on. Let's see here. Actually, I think it sticks a lot better. Um, so it goes right on. And actually, this is a good way to, um, if you're in your journal and you want to add this, you, actually, it works really good with just gluing it. Let's glue the whole thing down. Well, let me put some, oops. I'll put, okay, so I put glue all over this and then, Let's smash it down. 
So it's kind of like Mod Podging a piece of paper without the wet mess <laughs> and waiting for it to dry. Especially when you're working in a journal that's already put together and you're working on a page. Here it is. You can't see the glue. And I, you know, I didn't even really give it any time to dry. But it's on. It's see-through. And it's durable. And I love it. <laughs> I love this. Oh, this is going to be another page in my book. Okay, so I wanted to show you what it looked like, how to do it, so you guys can try it on, you know, yourself. So here's the two different looks. Here's the pocket. Here it is just glued onto the page. Okay, so you need a Ziploc bag. <laughs> okay, a Ziploc bag. Um, a grocery bag will work. Okay, so when I was testing this, I used this grocery bag, and I wasn't thinking, and I stuck it down where the writing was. When I pulled it off, the red ink came off onto my napkin. So when I was looking at my napkin, you could see through, and you could see the Schnooks logo on it. So if you're going to use a plastic bag, don't use the ink side, okay? <laughs> So what it is, I'm just using a Ziploc bag. I didn't, I was going to use a smaller sandwich size bag, but I didn't have one. So all I did is I had regular Mod Podge. Let me put this up here. Just plain old Mod Podge. Let me, oh, oops, let me reach up. There it is. I used a matte Mod Podge, okay? And I just painted on. A smooth thin coat I just smeared it on and then I laid down the napkin okay just like this and then I went over the top of it with Mod Podge and honestly the first strip I covered the whole top okay lightly this one I only dusted the edges and a couple of the big pictures and then I let it dry. Um, and then all you got to do, oh, if you just want to, you know, leave it, make a, make a fancy plastic bag, you can, you can leave it on here. It will stay and it'll pretty up a plastic bag. See? So, I mean, it's pretty cool. All right. So then... All you got to do, remember the fruit roll-ups? <laughs> oh, let me see if I get a, if I get an edge here. Okay. If you remember the fruit roll-ups and you just have to peel, <laughs> grab a corner. Oops. Oops. Um, now I'm... Maybe I put too much on the corners. Uh, here we go. You got to get it going, I guess. Uh, here we go. It's like a peeling stick. There we go. See it come off? It's kind of like, it's almost like a vinyl. And look, there's nothing left on your plastic bag. It can be reused. And look. So I stuck it more on the corners. So I have weird Mod Podge. <laughs> so that's it. I mean, what do I have here? I'm trying to find a picture. I mean, some paper here. Let's see. Through. Well, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> oh, let's. Oh, here. Let's try this one. Yeah. Look, you can see right through it, and it's like vinyl. Like I said, it's like vinyl, and it's strong. Do you hear it? So. 
I tore it a little when I was peeling it, but it's okay. Um, and I'm wondering if you can't, oh, you can tear, well, it's like fruit roll up. <laughs> so you can tear it, but not like a napkin, I guess. So this is my idea. And I had to share because I thought, how cool is this? So, like I said, all you do is just Mod Podge it onto a plastic bag, wait for it to dry, peel it off, and you've got some really cool um, paper to play with. So, let me know if you guys try this and how you do it and what you use it on because... I'm, like, really into playing with this stuff. <laughs> and, uh, like and subscribe, share. Uh, let me know what you didn't like or did like. And I will talk to you guys soon. <laughs> Have a good day.